Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to bake Anzac biscuits. And Anzac biscuits are those little friends over there. They are quite crumbly and crunchy and they also have this uh, oh, butterly caramel flavor and they are very popular in Australia and New Zealand. We would usually bake them to commemorate Anzac Day, but they are also pretty much perfect for any other occasion. Anzac Day commemorates the date when Australian and New Zealand army corps landed at Gallipoli in Turkey more than a hundred years ago. The military campaign was an attempt to capture the Gallipoli Peninsula and to kick the Ottoman Turkish out of the war as they were allied to the Germans. The environment was rugged and very hilly and the supply of fresh food and water was difficult. So Anzac troops were relying on savory dry biscuits also known as Anzac tiles, as a substitute for bread. But the biscuits were so hard that many soldiers broke a tooth on it, and the biscuits had to be soaked in water or ground to make them edible, essentially turning them into porridge. Australians at home often send parcels to the Anzacs to show their support, and many care parcels contain biscuits made from rolled oats, golden syrup and flour, as they had high nutritional value and would not go moldy during the transport. Most of these sweet biscuits were sold at fundraising events in order to support the war effort, and it's because of this connection to the Anzac troops serving overseas that the biscuits were renamed Anzac biscuits after the war. And now that you know the origins of the Anzac biscuits, I think it's time to bake them. So let's get started with the ingredients. You're going to need one cup of plain flour, all purpose, one cup of rolled oats, one cup of desiccated coconut, preferably unsweetened, three quarter cup of white sugar, preferably castor or superfine, 150 grams of unsalted butter, one teaspoon of baking soda, and four tablespoons of golden syrup. Now that we've got all the ingredients, let's take a large bowl and we are going to add the plain flour, the rolled oats, the desiccated coconut and the caster sugar. Then we can use a wooden spoon to mix them up until they are well combined. Let's also get the oven ready by preheating it to 160 degrees and forced, otherwise 180 degrees for classic bake. While the oven is heating up, let's put a saucepan on a medium-high heat, then we'll place the butter and the golden syrup into the saucepan. You can then use a whisk to stir them up until the butter has completely melted. Once the butter has melted, you can add a teaspoon of baking soda into the mixture. Let's keep on using the whisk to stir until it's combined, and as you stir, you will notice that the entire mixture will fizz up a lot in the saucepan. It's going to increase a lot in volume, but that's completely normal, so don't panic. Just focus on what you're doing, continue to stir for a few seconds, and then you can remove the saucepan from the heat. You can then pour the butter mixture into the bowl containing the dry ingredients, and you can start to stir using a rubber spatula. It might take you a few minutes of stirring, because there are a lot of dry ingredients in the bowl. So just make sure to stir until everything is well combined, and you cannot see any white ingredients anymore, especially flour. And now it's finally time to shape our Anzac biscuits. So first you are going to line a baking tray with baking paper. Then you will take tablespoon sized portions of the mixture and you will roll them into bowls. It's easier to make bowls if you've got a nice cream scoop. Then you can use your fingers to flatten the bowls into patties and place them on the baking tray. Don't forget to leave some space between the biscuits because they will spread during the baking. Once the baking tray is lined up, you can put it in the oven and bake the biscuits for 15 minutes, or 12 minutes if you prefer chewy biscuits. The longer it bakes, the crispier the biscuits will be. And while the biscuits are baking, this is the perfect time to like this video if you enjoy it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. When the biscuits are baked, you can remove the baking tray from the oven and allow the biscuits to cool down on the baking tray for 5 minutes. Then transfer the biscuits to a wire rack so that they can cool completely. And if you've got butter left, now is the time to start the second batch. And voila! Your delicious Anzac biscuits are now ready to be shared and eaten. Please let me know in the comments of this video if you liked and tried the recipe.
And until next time, have a big day.